Hey folks, welcome back to another video in the Google App Sheet tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to send out emails using the automation feature in Google App, in Google app Sheet. So uh, in the last video, we basically set up our app. We were able to create a slice of pending tasks and we could see all the activities here. And this view contains all the tasks that need to be completed, right? So now what I'm going to be doing is whenever I complete a task, I want a confirmatory email or a or maybe a congratulations email telling me that oh good job you completed your task something like that so we're going to be using the automation feature click on the new bot i'm going to say this as send email for tasks i'm going to enter and we're going to be configuring this event we're going to create a custom event so this event so this event is going to be triggering the bot to send the email so now we need to define the event that is going to be triggering the bot so i'm just going to say event name is task completed right the event type is going to be data change since there's going to be change in the data where status is going to be changed and uh, all changes yes uh, they're going to be all changes and thing and the table that we're going to be using is going to be activities and then we need to specify the condition that if the task if the column task or the status of the task is equal to complete right the value of column status of the task is equal to completed then and if it is under the data change event then i want them to send an email right so i'm just going to go ahead and click an add in step i'm going to be creating a custom step here i'm going to click on this i'm going to say create a new task and this is going to be send email to user right and I want to send an email. I want it to be an embedded app view. And it's going to be the activities table. Add the email address to. So once this app is deployed and available for users, I want it to go to the user email. So we're going to be using the user email formula that is there that gets the current email of the user. Click on save. Email subject is going to say you completed your task. So this is going to be the subject of the email and in the body, I just want a activities detail, right? So this is going to be the embedded view where the uh, details of the task are going to be listed. And in the email body, basically, I want to add, uh, just say, these are the details of the completed task. And that's all. So if I go and click on preview email body in the new tab. So you can see here, this is the email that we, and this is going to be the embedded app view that Google app sheet uses with the statuses and the clean the utensils and stuff like that. So this is, this is what the bot is basically. If I go ahead and click on save, I should not expect any errors from the bot as such. So yeah, we just have one error that is, yeah, since the bot is not deployed, the emails are going to be sent to the app owner. So it's going to be sent to me, right? So now let's just go ahead and test whether this works. So we're going to be going back to our app and I can see I have opened my email here. Oh yes, you get an e and confirmatory email from Google app sheet as soon as you create a new app. So yeah, this is the email. So I'm just, so you can see there are no emails right now. I'm going to go back to my app. Let's see if the bot works. I'm going to click on the living room task. I'm going to click on edit and, um, and to this, instead of this, I'm going to be clicking on completed. I'm going to click on save and I'm going to go back here. I'm going to refresh the app. And I think in a few seconds or a minute or so, I should expect an email. So let's just wait. Yes, here you can see we have got the email here. Congratulations, you completed your task. And here in a few seconds, the embedded app view that contains the details will be shown here. Here you can see we had uh, changed the status of the living room activity here and the task was cleaned the sofa and, and it, you can see it's completed. So yeah, so our I think automation bot with the event and the triggers have successfully worked. So yeah, this is how we have completed the to-do list app. So this is all for this video. I hope you understood how to create the to-do list app and use the automation bot in Google app sheet. I'll be leaving some other documentation links for the automation bot in Google app sheet. I'll be also leaving this video's blog in the description. If you want a reading version of the video, I'll be leaving the Google sheet link and maybe the app reference link in the description. You can check that out. Also, I recently gave a Google app sheet training at O'Reilly. I'll be leaving that link in the description. Also, if you want to see a three hour training on getting started with Google app sheet. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.